All right, well, I think we may have lost the beginning of this video, but we pulled a Coax the Commotion, a Arg Smash, and a Dread Triptych. So far, we are only about a quarter of the way through the box. Yes, indeed. After this one pack, we will be a quarter of the way through the box. The Shyana is a spoiler from the last video. We kept her around for some good luck. We've got a Mandible Claw Rare, a Towering Titan, and a Torrent of Tempo. Towering Titan and a Torrent of Tempo. Got a little bit of alliteration going on here. So, we've got a Tripwire Trap Rare, a Rare Rushing River, and a Rare Towering Titan Foil. Man, I seem to remember somebody on the Discord complaining about or saying that people were going to start complaining about the number of Towering Titan foils that they had opened. And I think I'm starting to see what they're talking about. So we've got a high speed impact, a crane dance, and a foil common brutal assault. We're not expecting this box to be anywhere near as insane as any of the other boxes that we've opened from this set recently. Frankly, We've gotten so insanely lucky with this set. Towering Titan, a Zen State, and a Foreboding Bolt Foil Common. We've gotten so insanely lucky with this set. I really don't mind opening a box that's like mostly duds because frankly, this box is not looking great so far. And I am really, really, really hoping that we can pull a few cold foils before we're done entirely. Rousing Aether, Common Foil. Um, before we're done entirely opening boxes of this set, I don't know how many boxes of this set I want to open. After this video is over, I will have 10 more boxes. Rare Promise of Plenty Red. That is pretty nice, actually, in foil. I really like the way this card looks in foil. I think it's very pretty. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on it properly. We don't. I don't have a great setup for this but yeah I think this is a really nice looking really nice looking card there we go yeah there we go I think that is a very sweet looking card I think some of the cards in this game look pretty incredible um, so, Towering Titan, Barraging Bighorn, and a Foil Common, Brutal Assault. I keep mistaking that for a um, Brute card when I was sorting these, and now we're halfway through the box, and it's looking like a real bad box. Like, possibly as bad as my very first box of Crucible. My very, oop, Cold Foil, whoa, hey! A cold foil blood sheath skeleta. Okay, that's now actually suddenly a fine box. Suddenly it's just a fine box. Suddenly we don't mind at all what we pull in the rest of this video. Man, the cold foils, they smell different. I swear, man, that these cold foils have some sort of oil on them. If anyone has like a lot of experience opening cold foils and like these packs in general let me know if you feel almost like a residue or an oil whoa for wow a non-foil dread tip triptych in the same pack all right so this is like the play rune blade box um all right that's pretty sweet um if anyone has a lot of experience opening a ton of these cold foils i don't know man it's like I swear it's not just palm sweat. It's like these cold foils have some sort of oil on them when you take them out of the pack and it's like it's like impregnating the card. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. I'm not monetized. But it's like when you take them out of the sleeves, you can almost see it like still on the card. I think it has something to do with the manufacturing process or something. I don't know, but I don't think that's a problem because I think it's like all of them are like that. I think it's just they're like oily. I mean, I wouldn't go rubbing on them too hard. That's for damn sure. I think they should just be sleeved and put away forever. 
I mean, obviously nobody has a ton of, ooh, a foil cash in, very nice, very, very, very nice. Look at him, sneaky merchant man. I do think that um, cold foils are very cool, but like nobody's had them for like an extended period of time. Like how do they really know? Like they've said a bunch, um, Wizards of the Coast has said, and et cetera, that like the cold foils or the etched foils that are coming up, this whole process was designed to like try and prevent stuff. Wow, that is, okay. Got a card roller line right across the front there. Um, it was supposed to prevent like the, the warping and stuff that they had issues with a few years ago in MTG and then like the process became too expensive and they decided to make it an aesthetic thing because they mostly fixed quote unquote the problem with the foils anyway I guess and um so we got a, a foil common push forward but like nobody has had these cold foils for an extended period of time so what did they like take a bunch of them and put them like subject them to extreme testing you know what I mean put them in some sort of environment to like see whether or not they would curl over time okay we got a foil I mean a non-foil majestic heron's flight that's pretty neat I mean at this point we're doing okay on majestics still only one foil majestic is pretty bad but the cold foil majestic is pretty freaking good um, especially as it's one that I didn't have, so it's one that I want to keep and use, and I just won't have to buy it later. Um, Talishar the Lost Prince, Edge of Autumn, and a rare foil Rushing River. We really would love to get some of these other rare foils, like any of the tokens, any of the heroes, man. If I could get any of those rare young heroes in foil... That would be amazing. Cavden, Benji, Data Doll, High Speed Impact, Chain Lightning, Majestic, and Choke Slam. Okay, so Chain Lightning is the Majestic. So Gaze the Ages is probably from Ark. But, and I was just being silly when I was talking about that earlier. But I wouldn't mind a foil Chain Lightning either, I think. Um, all right, we have now one, two, three, four packs left. Can we pull anything crazy? in the close. Four packs left, people. Four packs left. Promise of plenty, cash in, and a foil majestic. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wanted it to be a magnetic shockwave so bad. When you see foil majestic mechanologist, it's like either $3 for this card or $20 for the other one. Man, that is pretty Pretty brutal right there. I think that was that was pretty pretty friggin brutal. Wow. That didn't feel good. But that's the way CRU is, my friends. That's the way CRU is. It does not feel good sometimes. It's very up and down. It's very hit and miss. And wow, it has been a hit for us, frankly. Like, we have been so lucky. Rock slide, trap, cindering foresight, and a foil common. Increase the tension. I mean, we have opened now a grand total of five boxes of CRU. And I've pulled Shyana, Blood Sheath, Skeleta, Gambler's Gloves, and Shard in those boxes that is nuts that is absolutely insane luck predatory assault barraging bighorn dauntless um i mean i don't i don't know if i can even justify opening more after like this little round of high speed impact reinforce the line cache that'll be the end of our video thanks for watching